Hey, so today on Hostess Coach, we're making simple cranberry sauce, homemade. I know some people love what comes in the can, but I do not. So it's really simple to make. Here I've got two bags of fresh cranberries that come like this, usually in the produce section in the holidays. And I'm gonna start with one quarter cup here. Actually, I have a third of a cup. Third of a cup of sugar, third of a cup of water. I'm gonna put it in my pan. And I'm just putting a little bit of water there so that um, the sugar will d dissolve. So I'm gonna get this going here, heat it up, and get the sugar dissolving. Now, most of the recipes that you find for this are, they call for a cup of water and a cup of sugar. Well, that's just too sweet for me. I don't like that. So I just put a little bit of sugar and I am gonna add my secret weapon here in a second. Once we get that all dissolved, we are going to add the juice of a fresh orange, which I just squeezed, and the zest from the orange at the end. So I hear that go going here. We've got our sugar dissolved, because I can hear it, and heating up. So I'm gonna pour now my two bags of fresh cranberries that I've already washed and pick through if there's any that got through that aren't perfect, I've pulled them out. So the cranberries go in, heat is on medium. I don't get it too hot there because usually you're making cranberries while you're making 10 other things, right? And another great thing about making your homemade cranberry sauce is you can make it ahead, up to a week ahead. So you're not scrambling to make it at the last minute when you're trying to get a holiday meal on. Um, now add-ins that you can put in this at the end if you like jalapeno, which we do, fresh chopped jalapeno, you can add raisins, you can add nuts, you can add blueberries, all kinds of things to make it your very own. But I'm just making straight up simple cranberry sauce today. So it's gonna take about uh, 10 minutes or so for those cranberries to break down and cook. And once they are done, they'll get bubbly and soft. And then I would add, normally at the end, I would add the zest once it was starting to break down but today because you guys are here i am going to add the zest right now <laughs> and these will get cooked down i'm going to put my zest of an orange in and then also i'm going to add my zest excuse me my juice i have the juice of one fresh orange here that i'll throw that in and some of that sweetness from the Orange will help sweeten it too. And there we go. That is it. 10 to 15 mi uh, minutes or so on medium heat and the cranberries will start to break down. And then you let it cool, put it in a pretty dish and you're ready to go. So hope you have a wonderful holiday. Simple cranberry sauce, homemade.